Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers, you know, I am here to do your, your um, daily love update, my darlings, but you know, I, I always kind of give you, or try to give you a quick run through on your energy. I'm feeling like lounging and resting and getting outside and playing and doing things that you enjoy and doing more lounging. <laughs> Um, honestly, Cancer, what I picked up on channeled message before I turned on the video was that um, you put in so much work last month, okay? You guys worked, wor it was work, 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 okay? And now you're just like, oh, and I feel like blessings are just, you're just receiving right now and, and having a rest period, okay? I feel a very restful energy for you and honestly um, I think we're all kind of being called to do it because something is going to start moving and shaking here and we're going to need the rest so um, if you guys feel tired if you feel exhausted um, if you're just drained and you know you want to take a time out take a time out I'm, that's another feeling that I'm getting is that your person is taking a time out um, very secluded on their own kind of thinking about things trying to get away from the chitter chatter chitter chatter of everybody around them is what I'm hearing just like chitter chatter chitter chatter people like yelling in their ear and um, gossip going around and uh, complaints and responsibilities and blah, blah 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 and they're just wanting to get away like wanting to even get away by themselves like a, a maybe even a little trip um i'm feeling they just want some head space clarity that's kind of what i'm getting and they're in in this in this time of thinking where they're kind of like um isolating themselves i sort of feel or trying to they're realizing that their choices the things that they've done have caused these issues okay um, yeah and this person wants union they want union it's right here see <laughs> there you are anyway cancers listen this reading is not going to resonate with all of you okay so just take what does resonate leave what doesn't don't try to squish it into your story don't do that okay um, and use your intuition for every reading that you hear um, and thank you my darlings I love you all for your likes subscribes comments shares donations it really it's it's your kindness um, I just love all of you you guys are my soul tribe and my family so <laughs> even you know and I've been doing a lot of resting too, cancer um, and uh, I, I can't make it a day without giving you guys a reading. Anyway, like I was saying though, um, I feel like your person is contemplating all of this. I feel like they've been watching you. Um, they've been wanting to come forward and talk to you. They really want forgiveness. Um, watching you like a hawk. I feel like time is running out here and I feel like you know that better than your person does. Um, they can feel it though too. They know that time is running out for this and that's why you may be um, getting, a, like I said, a surprise visit, guys. We started saying this, what, last week? Um, yeah, a spontaneous, unexpected surprise visit, a pop-up from your person because th there is a deadline on this, look at this, on this long-term relation, this commitment that, between you guys or whatever this is, if you're, if this is what your person wants, there's a, there's a deadline on this. Tick tock, tick tock. And, and he, what I'm seeing that's very interesting here, and this could be a very happy union. Okay. Very, very ha A lot of happiness between you guys. Now let's talk about your energy for a second cancer. This is you. You are on a pause, like I was saying before, it's almost like, you know, lounging around in a sweatshirt, you know, or getting outside, right? And um, you're doing a lot of contemplating too on your own. But look, when it says tick tock, here's the sun going down. 
it gets darker 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 and here it is almost set to the, I'm telling you time is running out on this cancer and you're you know it already you already know it's very clear to you you feel like it's already run out okay and you're just kind of taking that Sun which is the happiness right which it's times running out on this happiness here for your person and this can you know this particular connection it's not running out for you you're holding the happiness in your hands darling do you see you hold it in your hands so you're really secure in your happiness and you're doing some contemplating on your own of um, what direction to take um, in this new cycle you totally feel this coming to an end here cancer and right before that sun sets you have a pause that's this that that um, contemplative time where you're getting rest and you're just kind of going with the flow right like yesterday yesterday I actually took most of the day off and um, and I just decided to go out and go with the flow right and I ended up having a really cool day one place led me to the next I even was able to pick up a friend and give him a ride home I mean it was really cool the way I was just sort of just flowed through the day and I think that's kind of the feeling that you're having too it's like a pause you know that the Sun is about to set this is also you hanging on to the to this connection just for that last bit that last moment because you know you know time is running out right there's a deadline on this but the Sun hasn't slipped yet it hasn't so it's almost like you're you're cupping it in your hands you're like I know divine you're very poised you're very confident you're very still right and you're like I know divine I know time is running out but I still have control over my happiness here so let me think and, and and manifest what I want in my new cycle right but you know that I feel like there's an ending coming here for this one and it's time is running out fast I feel um, here's the thing this is the way the cards look to me on the table Dang it, sorry Cancers, I had to clear off my memory card. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, you're taking this, this momentary pause here, right? Knowing that, that, that this time is running out. Um, and, but you're like, I don't really feel a, a, an extreme sadness off of you. I do off of your person though this thing is coming to an end conclusion right lock and it's under lock and key it's like you guys are not communicating and you both have your back towards each other you I feel like you're focused on your happiness here and what to manifest and your strength and you know that this is slipping away um, time is ticking away here you can both feel it and there's like this tenseness you know you can both feel it but look at how your backs are turned and and we have conclusion in the middle it's just and but here what your person thinks of it kind of goes this way <laughs> I'm following the the way the energy is moving because um, it's coming back around I feel like it's coming back around I don't know I, and I just lay in the cards where they are anyway um, your person wants forgiveness they know they have free will here and they're they're contemplating over this um, like I said I they feel very isolated or they they want to be isolated right now because there's a lot of I'm feeling a lot of chitter chatter a lot of talk and a lot of demands going on around your person and someone like maybe even near your person like just Blah, 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 blah. 
something I don't know I'm hearing a lot of chitter chatter around them and they really just want to go somewhere where they can clear their head and think okay um, thinking right thinking how do they get forgiveness I feel like they're praying to the universe here at this point praying to the universe please help me figure this out um, realizing that their own actions because of their free will have gotten them into this into this position okay into this position I feel like they're sitting here standing or sitting here praying sitting here praying right and you're standing up confident and strong I feel like they're kind of bent over feeling weak and you're feeling poised and and ready to face um, a new cycle that's kind of how I'm feeling but you can both feel that the time is ticking away and and time is running out if you know if this is going to be a happy union happy union right a commitment time is running out and when I say commitment I'm not it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a marriage a commitment is just when you when you have each other's backs and you're not going to leave and you're not there's not going to be any lying there's not going to be any cheating no third party situations you know you're open with each other you work with each other it's not codependent right committed to something you know what i mean um, so yeah the, there's a deadline here though time is running out for this union your person knows it they're thinking about all of this right now but I feel like the energy is whipping back around here I really do I feel like the energy is whipping back around this person can't stop watching you either expect a spontaneous visit I'm telling you it's coming um, I just want to move my cards around so that I'm not there we're gonna dig into some tarot this person's watching you like a hawk um, you could be dealing with um, an earth sign uh, this king of pentacles though usually they pop out at me as being like somebody who's already committed to somebody else um, so yeah but this person is watching you watching you watching you this is creepy McCreeperson so they can creep around everywhere okay um, really heavy in their mind right now contemplation mode I'm telling you this is a lot of thought a lot of thought you're you're giving this thought too but you're putting it behind you I feel and you're um, very controlled you're very controlled you have full control I feel over your emotions and the steps that you take like you know this is coming to an end but you also know that you're the one who holds the happiness I, that's what I'm feeling like you know that time is ticking out for this and this is coming to an end and because there's no communication it's under lock and key nobody's talking and but you're the one who holds the happiness you're the creator sort of of your own happiness okay and you know that you're manifesting you're very confident but your person not so much they are completely trapped in their mind about this completely trapped I do like though how this page of swords is holding their sword upright with all of these birds swirling around their head in a circle I really do think that this person's coming back around they want to communicate they're getting ready to communicate here and there's going to be a pop-up because this person really does want union with you I feel okay what else can you show me uh, they want forgiveness from you they're trapped in their mind about this they don't see a way out of what they feel trapped and blindfolded and heartbroken a third-party situation and uh, you know on this union card 
you guys know I, I, I'm always got a candle lit, right? There's a drop of wax here, right here, on this union card that always, I kept it there because it looks like a teardrop. So, and things happen for a reason. I feel like this person is very heartbroken. I feel like they're, they're crying over this. And I'm getting that song again that I got the other night, too. Um, one dream in my heart, right? What, what's it called again? This nearly was mine from South Pacific. <laughs> yeah, look. This nearly was theirs. It's coming back again, guys. I'm telling you. This person is really sad, heartbroken, thinking about this, watching you, wanting to communicate. Can't stop thinking about this. Wanting forgiveness. Feeling guilty, I feel. Feeling guilt-ridden because they know that their free will got them in this sitting position here. I feel like they could be praying to the to um, divine and spirit and God for guidance at this point. I do and waiting to hear back. <laughs> I feel like they're this person's being led anyway. I kind of feel like this person was led someplace to sit and think so they can hear what the divine how the divine is answering them because with all the chatter going on around them wherever this person is there's a lot of chit chat a lot of talking a lot of griping a lot of demands i feel and this person needs to go somewhere else to clear their head they've been praying i feel and i really do mean that when they may have to step away somewhere else to hear what the divine how the divine answers them um, and they're just trapped in their mind otherwise. But they're heartbroken because this thing is coming to an end. You can both feel the conclusion. You have trust here already. You know how to communicate with the divine really well, I feel. Um, and you're using your intuition here, but your person, they're kind of a mess. On the bottom of the deck here, we got the Nine of Pentacles. This person comes forward with this it's a real offer it's real and it's very stable okay this is something this is like a promise you know but but uh, but somebody who's going to be there um but this is very slow moving and i'm i'm feeling like this person is really really shaky here wanting to get you to calmer waters but they're still very burdened and I I feel like those burdens may be yours and you know if they come forward to you right now this person has a lot of a lot of um, burdens here attached to them that's something that they're trying to step away from so that they can clear their head and get some answers but um, I feel like this person is still attached to something here. I do. It doesn't really specify, but you've already healed. You've done your healing. You're now manifesting, like I said, manifesting your new wishes to come in cancer. Um, I feel like you're very, very sexy. You've been taking really good care of yourself. And I am feeling like this is kind of a rest period where you're pouring love back into you right now. Maybe getting outside, you know. But also healing, more healing, more healing. But you've already done a lot. You could be in the, you could be a star too. This person sees you as their star hanging on to your energy I'm telling you here it is again they want to get you in this boat and get you to calmer waters the only thing that irritates me about this card and it's just an irritation really this really does mean getting you to calmer waters but what what you don't really notice that I do is that yeah, they want to put these burdens down where they can't hurt anybody and all, but they've got you sitting right here being completely jailed in by them, just like they are. 
I feel like their burdens will become yours because I think they're still attached to something here. You know, I don't like how you're sitting here facing it looks like, you know, a, a, a cage. It just irritates me about this one particular card. I don't like that feeling because, yeah, because you're an empress and you deserve to be on your throne. Not in a wet boat, caged around, you know, being in, in caged in someone else's burdens. Being covered up with a blanket. No, you're an empress. See, that's what I don't like about that. I don't like that feeling. Maybe this person is fairly controlling or something, or maybe they're just, they, they, they are still attached to something and you're, you'll have to face those burdens. I don't under, I don't, it's not that I don't understand, it's just I don't like the feeling off of this card. I like the feeling off of you. You're an empress in this. You did your work. I don't think this person did their work, okay? I don't think they've done their work enough yet. But they are going to pop up at, on you because they do want to get you someplace calmer with them. Um, but you're an empress energy. You're not going to waste your time or play any games. Um, you're using your intuition. You're very strong, very confident, very abundant. But it's because you've been dragged through hell. You don't get to em empress status unless you've been put through hell. And I, I feel like this person is still kind of trapped in their own little... You know what I mean? And that's going to, some of that is going to be coming with you here. There's some of that you'll have to face if you go with them right now to calmer waters, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> you know? But yeah, you're the empress, and I feel like you're the empress in this. This could be a twin flame soulmate connection as well. You're the empress in this as well. This person can't stop focusing on you they're losing sleep at night cancer look at how dark and sunk in their eyes are this person isn't resting they're not sleeping they can't rest their mind during the day look all of the chatter and stuff around them that's why they're they need to escape somewhere to kind of think and hear the messages that they're getting from the divine okay but yeah, this could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection. You're focused on your divine path. I feel like you're focused on your healing. You're focused on your spiritualism. You're focused on manifesting. I feel like you're getting your blessings here. Lots of knowledge. Lots of abundance. Right? You've worked for it. But this person, they can only focus on you. Very, they want this passionate new beginning here. Very passionate about you, Cancer. Okay, what else can you show me? Yeah. Clarify this um, Eight of Swords for me, please. Hangman, hey, they don't want to be... Hangman hey, in reverse. This is too many, though. Hey man in reverse. They want to take some action here. They're seeing things from a different perspective. Yeah, things are coming out. Things are being made clear to this person. Or if they had any secrets and didn't want to communicate in the past, it's time now. I, I feel like, yeah, that and we've got divine intervention here. You could even be you could be dealing with the Pisces, Gemini, um, Earth sign, Scorpio, um, uh, Aquarius here, Sagittarius, but I feel like it's time. It's divine intervention, tick tock. There is a deadline on this. Like I said, it's time. And I feel like this is divine intervention. Yeah, this is wish fulfillment for your person. Your wish fulfillment for this person, Cancer. Yeah, your wish fulfillment for this person. <clears throat> they totally regret turning their back on you and the soulmate connection over a third-party situation that all got dumped out anyway. 
they may be very ashamed. I see this person too as kind of hermit energy, possible Virgo, possible water sign. V, possible Virgo, <laughs> right? But I mean, it's a five, but yeah, this person and five, that's, you know, change. I feel like this person is now seeing things from a different perspective. Like I said, they, they're able to get away uh, from the chitter chatter around them and think and see, see things clearly. Okay. Yeah. Everything's being made clear, I think, to your person. Seeing things from a different perspective, perhaps. Yeah. Secrets coming out, perhaps. I feel like secrets could be coming out, too, for your person. Or that it's just time for all the secrets to come out. It's just time. You already know. I feel like you know about this deadline and this time running out better than your person does. And you're being very chill. Very, you're very quiet about everything. You're um, using your intuition. You're being guided by, by the divine. Um, and you're just, you're, you're chilling, you know? Healing yourself and your person. Like I said, they're not sleeping at night. They can't sleep over this. They can't sleep. Your person hasn't been sleeping. I'm surprised they can even function at this point. Honestly, cancer. Because, you know, they just haven't been sleeping. Let's see how they feel with the mixed emotions. Okay. And I am going to take this into the extended, guys. Um, I'm going to go through some after tarot on this, okay? At least I want to. Want to. You never know what kind of stuff I'm going to pull on, uh, on um, Patreon. <laughs> you guys seem to put up with a lot. All right, so <laughs> let's see how your person feels. Let's pull some emotion cards. Sad. Sad. It's that song. It keeps playing in my head. Um, this nearly was mine. Yeah. This nearly was mine. I think you know it too. I mean, I, and there is a there is a bit of a sadness from you here because you can feel the time just running out. You know it's just running out. But I think you're cupping it here. Um and just being strong about it and saying, "Well, because you're using your intuition, you're very connected to the divine. You you know that um, time is ticking out on this, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to have a bright future. I feel like you're manifesting your wishes here. I do. As the deadline ticks out on this on this uh, connection, yeah, your person's very sad, unhappy, joyless, dejected because they're missing out. That one just kind of fell out from nowhere. This is unrequited love. I'm telling you, this person is so sad. Cancer. Oh my God. Here we go again. It's, um, guys, look up the song. It's, it's, this nearly was mine. Yeah, they know that they turn their back on the wrong person here. They know they turn their back on the wrong soulmate connection here. They are in so much regret. Unrequited love, crying lots of tears, their hands out. I feel like they're they're praying and they're waiting for answers. They just or they're they're wanting to hear from you. Like this person would welcome and be very accepting and open if you were to take this the first step and communicate, but I don't see you doing that, Cancer. I don't see I don't see you doing that. No, this is definitely a no communication and a con and a conclusion cuz things are too much under lock and key here. 
okay um so yeah your your person is just oh my god then that song comes on in my head again this promise of paradise this nearly was mine Th those are the words I'm getting this promise of paradise this nearly was mine <sighs> yeah they're, they've got their hands tied here I feel like this is their energy this is your energy cancer you're very calm you're being very serene and centered like I said um, but your person, they, they feel, it says here, paralyzed, ineffective, and weak. They don't know what to do. They're very sad. They're too shy to come forward. Timid, hesitant, reserved. They're shy and ashamed. I feel like there's a lot of shame here because they turn their back on you and you're their wish. It's just, wow, I'm telling you. It would be it would be a very it would be an absolute brilliant novel, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's see what they have to say to you, Cancer. I'm not ready to let you go yet. <laughs> let's see what you what we have. So anyway, I don't know if you've noticed, Cancer, but I have um kind of slowed my energy down too. Um yeah, I we we've all worked so so stinking hard in this last month. I feel that's kind of what we're all doing is just kind of having a lounge day. All right. Um but you know, we'll get it back up there. It's just that this is it just feels like a rest period. Um yeah. All right, let's see what they have to say to you, Cancers. Now, once again, guys, this isn't going to be for everybody. But I feel like this person really wants to come forward. They really do. They're right on the edge. They may be hoping to hear from you. They know that this is its almost like having a funeral here. This love, this connection, they can feel it dying. Dying. Like this flower here with no water. Right? And I mean, it's just, there's a lot of tears here. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, I, I won't listen to you because you might change my mind. Lots of negative words off of this deck today. Yeah, but you have greatly impacted my life. I won't listen to you because you might change my mind. Like, I feel like you... Maybe this is your energy, actually, Cancer. Is this your energy? Maybe because you're just you're waiting for you're waiting for this cycle to close. You're waiting for this to for you to feel the ending, maybe, so that you can move forward. You have greatly impacted my life. You have greatly impacted my life. I regret letting others come in between us. Yeah, this person does have a lot of regret. I will, I will tell you that. They have a lot of regret. It's right here. And I, this connection could have been sabotaged. Maybe somebody told a lie about you. Um, someone got in the way of this, I feel. I feel it was either a karmic indiv individual or maybe somebody's ex. But yeah, you know, I feel like, yeah, they let somebody sabotage this. They, they could even have a hint of um, feeling like a victim here. Yeah, people around me keep talking to you I'm, or talking about you. I'm telling you, that's why they need to they need to break free and isolate themselves and getting they need to get away from all the chitter chatter, chitter chatter, chitter chatter. You know what? And I'll bet. Two to one, people that are talking about you don't even freaking know you. Yeah. So they spend a lot of time in their car thinking about you. That's maybe the place where they break away to, to kind of clear their head. They go and sit in their car. And Sorry, Cancer. Yeah, so... Um,
Yeah, they spend a lot of time, or they're trying to spend more time away from the chitter-chatter, chitter-chatter, complaining, judgmental, gossip, lies, everything, right? They can't, they can't hear what the divine is trying to say to them. <laughs> So they break away just to get some t some peace in their head, okay? Yeah, anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for you for this reading today. Hi, Clop. Hey. And, uh, <laughs> um, my, that was my daughter, sorry. Um, and uh, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and help me grow. Um, we're all growing here together anyway, right? So if you're new, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Join the family. All right, my daughter needs to talk to me, so I got to go. Uh, all right, I'll help you. All right, um, thank you, everyone. I love you all, and peace out.